everybody and welcome. If you want to see how these sunflower coasters turn out as I paint the mica powder into the mold, then stay tuned and we'll resin together. Hey everybody, glad you could be with us today. So we're working on these uh, sunflower platter and coasters that I got in this mold. I got it from Amazon as you can see it's a great mold. I think it's going to make a beautiful platter and some coasters to go with them. I'll make sure to link these below along with the colors we'll use today. Now I'm going to do something I've not tried before. I'm going to actually paint the mica powder into the cavities of the coaster and the platter and then pour uh, colored resin. I'm probably going to use a bronze colored resin on that um, and we'll talk about that when we start to pour the resin. So first I need to paint in the petals and leaves of the flowers. Now I'm not sure on this one what to call it but I'm going to say these big ones are the flower petals and then these small pieces on the outside I'm going to call leaves. Now if that's incorrect so be it that's the way my project's going to look. So for today we're going to use a yellow because it's traditional. We'll try other colors and other projects. This is from Eye Candy. It is the Shisha Yellow. Really bright colorful yellow. I think that's going to look pretty. And then for the leaves, I've chose a black diamond emerald green that I think is going to look stunning inside of these uh, painting it. So we're going to give this a try. And then the brushes I use are just some cheap little disposable brushes. I buy them in packs of like 50 on Amazon so that I don't care if they get messed up by anything. So I'm just going to get a little bit on the brush and just start to brush in each of these sections. Now you want to work the powder in um, to the section. You don't want it to be clumped up. Work it all in. You kind of want to get a good covering and you can see here. I'll pick, I'll get it a little bit closer in just a second. We'll zoom in. want to just get that fully covered all inside there. going to be a little extra and kind of pat it around because it'll stick to the silicone but from what I've seen when you pull up the silicone it's going to come up with it. Be sure to work into the corners. All right and when you're done with that it's going to look something like that. I don't know if you can see that got good coverage. There's still some here. I'm just going to kind of scoop that, take it to the next section. Mica powder is not that expensive, but it's not so cheap that we can afford to waste it, right? So I'm going to get a little bit more. I'm going to do another one of these. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me paint all of this. So we'll do this one. Back here. Now this is only my second video so y'all are going to have to tell me what do you think. This time I'm going to just do like a jump to when I'm done getting this painted and I'm ready to pour the resin. But if you guys think I should try some of that uh, doing a, uh, what do you call it, fast forward where, where everything is sped up then I can try doing that too. I don't know which people prefer to see. Time lapse, that's what I'm looking for, time lapse. So there's that. Now I'm going to switch to the green just so you can see what it looks like. Get a clean brush. Now I don't clean these brushes. I just take a paper towel and kind of wipe them out. I think that does a good job of getting the mica powder out. Now the one thing I did notice when I watched someone else do this, and for the life of me I can't remember who it was on YouTube, um, the colors will turn out just a little bit lighter, I think, than we anticipate. Now I am going to use a, a dark mica powder when I pour this because I'm not going to put any color in the center. Now if you think about a sunflower, um, it's kind of dark in the center because that's where the seeds are that we enjoy so much. 
Um, so I'm gonna use a dark uh, color for the fill in that. So I hope that turns out okay. Um, like I said in the first video when we made our purple and silver coasters, I am experimenting and you're gonna see the things that turn out great and you're gonna see the things that turn out not so great. But we'll do it all together and I won't hide my, uh, my failures from you. Uh, so once we've done that, let's see the green. Looks real pretty. I'll get it in the light. I think that's going to turn out real well. Uh, you just want to take it and kind of turn it over and pat it out. Get that extra out of there. Maybe even give it a little, a little burst of air to get some of that out. You just don't want any uh, clumps laying around because it will clump up and it will rise to the resin from what I've seen and it won't look good. So you make sure you want to do that. I'm going to fill in the rest of all of these and we will come back when I'm ready to mix up that bronze brown resin and uh, we will see how that turns out. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, just a few seconds for you. So I finished filling in all of the uh, sections with the mica powder, uh, a few places where I missed. So what I've been doing is taking a Q-tip and I just lightly spray it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Um, and then just cleaning off these uh, raised areas because that's where our dark color is going to be. And I've already cleaned them all off except for the last little bit on this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just don't want any big blotches of color messing up because these will be the, your ridges between everything. And don't worry about getting it off the sides or the edges, I should say, the outside edge because we're going to finish it with a uh, with a side edging with some oil paint so that's not a big deal just want to make sure you get these center sections if you dip down like I did just kind of go back paint it a little bit spread out the mica powder it'll be just fine so just get a little bit of this out of the middle where it's gotten in there just a few little places and we are good to go all right so today we have our resin ready. I've mixed up uh, right at 24 ounces of resin, which I know this one takes just about 13, a little bit more, and each of these are two. So I have a little bit left over, but again, I want to have too much rather than not enough. Uh, but I don't want to go crazy either, so I always measure everything, make sure I have enough today. Uh, as always, we're using my favorite. This is the uh, Poxy Resin Store uh, Clearcast 7000. Um, it is a great epoxy. I really enjoy using it. It has uh, low viscosity, so it tends to mix well. It is a one-to-one, -one, so it's still a little bit thicker. Uh, you get about 45 minutes, 30-45 minutes, depending on your room temperature, uh, to, to do use it. Um, and because it is a little more viscous, it does tend to release bubbles much better as well so uh, definitely a good choice and it's not too expensive either which is nice um, I order this directly from them they're not from what I've seen on Amazon uh, but they ship really quickly so no big deal so I'm gonna put in this is the May Spring uh, bronze stone this is what we're gonna fill with and uh, so I'm gonna put a couple mounds in each one Try to get it as close as possible. It'll be pretty close either way, so we should be all right with that. There we go. Sorry about the noise. All right, so one more stir on this one, just to make sure we're still good. Yep, we are good to go. So remember, the closer you can get to your surface, put on a paper towel over there, uh, the fewer air bubbles you're going to have. So what I'm going to do is actually pour from this corner. Because the other thing is, if you can push that way instead of it coming from all both directions, hopefully it'll push out the air bubbles instead of letting them stay. 
So that's the other bad thing about this dark resin you can't see air bubbles as easily down inside as you could with clear resin and you could take some time to pop the bubbles if you could see those so just go slow let it fill in especially these let it fill in see how it's running between instead of covering them over all right so let's pour in this one A little bit of mica powder dust in the bottom, so I don't want to scrape that one. before try to pour slowly give it a chance to fill in all the gaps and pieces there we go just got that one too full some extra for the pyramid. I keep a large pyramid on hand, uh, pyramid mold. Uh, it's probably about eight or nine inches tall and about eight inches across too uh, that I put any unused resin in but that's a lot. Hmm. We've got some of these molds we can use. I'll push these out of the way. Great. I got these and I haven't had a chance to do much with them yet. Remove that. And come on, scoot. There we go. We'll start filling some of these up. Now these are great geode molds, kind of like the ones we use. These are on Amazon too, but they got these veins. Uh, inside which are great because you can take a fine tip uh, oil paint marker and paint those in so even though they're gonna be one color they're still gonna have those veins and I think that's gonna look nice so we'll try that and see how it goes I hadn't expected to do these but never miss an opportunity to try something new that's what it's all about it's all about experimenting and having fun we might actually, let's see. Yeah, let's see if we can get one more out of it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And we can go back over those with some uh, the little veins with some silver oil paint. And that'll look good. So now I'm going to break out my heat gun and uh, take care of some of these bubbles.
This uh, ClearCast 7000 releases the bubble so easily with just the heat gun that I find I rarely need to use the torch unless it's gotten uh, pretty gelled and then I'll break out the torch because uh, it just needs that more intense heat. Now I've got a few little hairs somehow. Now I have pets and despite the fact that I don't let them here in my work area, their hair seems to follow. So I'm just gonna pull those out because I don't want them in the finished product, but that's the only one I see. Uh, so that's pretty good. A few bubbles have come up, and that's gonna happen. Bubbles will continue to rise for several minutes. And realize you can't hear me when that's running so I just pop in a few more bubbles they'll continue to rise up and I'll continue to pop them as they uh, as they rise here's another hair there we go now this is the back so it's not that big a deal if there's some hair on them so don't don't fret too much it's not a big deal I just get them out because I like it to look as perfect as possible. Alright, so we're going to let these cure and they should be ready about 8-10 hours depending on the temperature and everything. Um, but sets pretty quickly that uh, ClearCast 7000 so we should be able to have these out soon. Alright, welcome back guys. We're here uh, with our sunflowers. I think they're ready to come out of the mold so we'll go ahead and start pulling, pulling these out. Now these have a lot of edges so be careful as they're coming out because it will want to stick just be patient if it starts to stick just kind of give it pressure but don't pull too hard because you don't want to ruin your molds because you absolutely uh, will tear your molds and it'll get stuck all right so it's coming out let's see how these turned out I haven't peaked yet so I am hoping these will look nice and I'll do it this way for the great reveal right that looks beautiful it's a little dark maybe I shouldn't use the uh, the bronze but I definitely think that turned out very nice very nice indeed beautiful all right let's do the next one I do like these uh, thicker molds that I get. Um, sometimes the thin white ones don't always release very easily, but I've found that these uh, color ones, I think the, the big thing is they're really shiny, but they release very well. There's number two. Again, I think that turned out just beautiful. Nice shiny surface. The colors are vivid, I think, and you could do these in a lot of colors. Um, I think we're going to experiment with some others, and I think I'd also like to experiment with some glitter. I think the sparkle would look nice on those as well. Number three. There we go. Get those out of the way. Number three, again, I think that is just really pretty. I think the colors turned out very well. Now the big one. <laughs> Long way around. There, there we go. Let's pull that back. 
Can't do this one as a reveal. It's too big. I need to work the mold off. There we go. Yeah, I think that turned out beautiful. That's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful piece right there. Looks great. So the last thing I'll do is I have these little bumpers that I get from the hardware store um, before I thought to look on Amazon. So uh, I've also, there'll be a link in the description to the products I've used today, including uh, these little bumpers. Oh, the paper stuck. Um, I found them on Amazon and they are much cheaper to purchase from Amazon in bulk than they are to uh, get in little cards of 16 from the hardware store so I would highly recommend you use them from Amazon and of course it goes without saying if you use the links in the description I do get a little bit of help for doing that which helps me support what I'm doing and continue to bring this to you so that would definitely help me as well. Okay, so we have these bumpers on each of the coasters that'll help protect surfaces and uh, keep these from sitting directly on anything to get water or anything dripping. Um, and then I remembered we also had that extra resin. I don't, um, I'll just pull these out real quick. I won't do them all because they're all gonna look the same, uh, but here's how that turned out. Just a real pretty, uh, color now this has the veins in it so I may finish those out um, and that'll be something that maybe I give away or, or do something with but you know didn't want to waste the resin so we did three of these so there's one of those so I hope this has been uh, informative and entertaining for you and that you've learned something I welcome comments and of course please subscribe and like the videos so that I know uh, that what I'm doing is good and that you are enjoying them or give me suggestions for what you think we should do or what we would like to learn and experiment together. But above all, I look forward to seeing you here again as we resin together.